In League of Legends, the mastery trees are being reworked for Season 3. On today's episode of Wallmath, we'll be taking a look at exactly how the offensive mastery tree will be changed from Season 2 and how it can affect certain champions. Let's take a look at just how different the offensive mastery tree is. We'll start from the top. The Summoner's Wrath mastery remains almost unchanged, but will no longer provide a bonus to the Surge Summoner spell as it has been removed from the game. It will now, however, grant the same bonus to the Garrison Summoner spell that Summoner's Resolve did in Season 2. Moving on, the Alacrity Mastery has been renamed to Fury and no longer requires 4 Mastery Points in the Offensive Mastery Tree. It still grants 1% attack speed for every point in the Mastery. This may allow jungling champions a nice way to kill jungle monsters faster, without investing too much in the Offensive Mastery Tree. The Sorcery Mastery has not been renamed, but no longer requires 4 Mastery Points in the Offensive Mastery Tree. It still grants 1% cooldown reduction for every point in the Mastery. The Butcher Mastery remains unchanged from Season 2. These next masteries require 4 points in the offensive tree. Deadliness no longer requires 8 points in the offensive tree and grants slightly more attack damage. It now grants 0.17 attack damage per level, multiplied by the amount of points in the mastery with a maximum of 4. This is a slight increase from the previous mastery, which granted 0.5 attack damage per level at maximum rank. Blast no longer requires 8 points in the offensive tree, but remains unchanged otherwise from Season 2. The Demolitionist Mastery has been renamed to Destruction, and rather than increasing all damage dealt to turrets by 10, it increases all damage dealt to turrets by 2.5%, multiplied by the amount of points in the Mastery with a maximum of 2. At rank 1, a champion will need to be dealing 400 damage to a turret to gain the same benefit as Demolitionist from Season 2. At rank 2, the damage dealt will need to equal 200 to gain a damage bonus equal to that of the Season 2 Demolitionist Mastery. These next masteries require 8 points in the offensive tree. Havoc now increases all damage dealt by 0.66% multiplied by the amount of points in the mastery with a maximum of 3. It will now increase all damage dealt by 2% at max rank as opposed to the 1.5% from Season 2. Weapon Expertise now requires 4 points in Deadliness to be activated, instead of the Season 2 Mastery Alacrity. It also only grants 8% Armor Penetration as opposed to the 10% from Season 2. However, with the new Season 3 Armor Penetration formula, with the percentage being applied before Flat Penetration, this is not a major difference in most scenarios. A 75 Armor Target from Season 2 being dealt 50 damage with the attacker having 15 Flat Armor Penetration and 10% Armor Penetration will take 32.47 damage. A 75 armor target from Season 3 being dealt 50 damage with the attacker having 15 flat armor penetration and 8% armor penetration will also take 32.47 damage. Even if the same targets had 250 armor, they still would only be dealt 0.18 additional damage if it were Season 2. Moving on, Arcane Knowledge now requires 4 points in Blast instead of Sorcery. Similar to Weapon Expertise, it now only grants 8% magic penetration as opposed to the 10% from Season 2. However, since the Magic Penetration formula is being changed in Season 3, with the percentage being applied before Flat Penetration, this is also not a major difference. These next masteries require 12 points in the Offensive Tree. Lethality no longer requires 4 points in Deadliness to be activated. It will now grant Critical Strike Damage equal to 2.5% times the amount of points in the Mastery with a maximum of 2. The amount granted will double on melee champions, making it synergize very well with Tryndamere and Pantheon. Brute Force now grants 1.5 attack damage times the amount of points in the Mastery with a maximum of 2 as opposed to granting 1 attack damage per point with a maximum of 3. Mental Force now grants 1.5 ability power times the amount of points in the Mastery with a maximum of 4, now maxing out at 6 ability power instead of the 4 from Season 2. Spell Sword is a new Mastery which makes the champion's auto attacks deal bonus magic damage equal to 5% their ability power. This could synergize very well with champions like Kassadin and Fizz. These next Masteries require 16 points in the Offensive Tree. Frenzy requires 2 points in Lethality to be activated. It grants a champion 10% bonus attack speed for 2 seconds after landing a critical strike. This could synergize very well with Ash, Tryndamere, and Pantheon. Sunder remains unchanged from Season 2. Archmage also remains unchanged from Season 2. Finally, Executioner requires 20 points in the Offensive Mastery Tree. It will now grant a damage bonus against targets below 50% health as opposed to the 40% from Season 2. However, the bonus is now equal to 5% instead of 6%. Overall, it seems that the early Offensive Masteries will allow one to scale in the late game better even if they don't want to invest more than 8 or 9 points in the offensive tree. The later choices seem to result in a tree similar to that of Season 2, with a few masteries being slightly better and a few geared towards specific champions. However, one should note that the Vampire as a mastery was removed, which granted up to 3% lifesteal. Next episode, we'll be covering the defensive mastery tree. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous LolMath episode. You can also like LolMath on Facebook at facebook.com slash lolmathyoutube, and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash trampolinetales. Thanks for watching this episode of LolMath.